Hi and welcome to the last part of this video series. Today we are going to deploy this project to a live server. I will use Ubuntu 20.04. I have the server to the left here and the local environment to the right. So the first thing we need to do is to update every software and to do that just sudo apt get update and this is just to make sure that we have all of the newest things on the server. And when that's done, we need to upgrade it by saying sudo apt get upgrade. Yes, I want to continue. Great. And when that's done, we need to install a few things. So we want to install Python 3 pip, Python 3 dev, libpq dev, postgresql, postgresql contrib, and nginx. This is software we need to we need for this tutorial. So I already have all of this installed, but you still need to run this command to install it on your server. And then I also want to install CertBot and Python 3 CertBot and Nginx so we can get SSL certificates for the server or the website. Great. And when that's done, I want to change the user to the PostgreSQL so we can create a database. sudo postgres like that. Perfect. And then we can create the database by saying create database in Voicely. And then I want to create a user and set a password for the user. And then I need to alter the role the, for the user because you need to set the client coding to UTF-8. This is some configuration for Django. And the same with this command is also for a configuration for Django. And also set the time zone to UTC. And when that's done, we need to grant all the privileges on this database to this user. And when that's done, we can just quit by saying backslash Q. And now we have a SQ, now PostgreSQL database. Next, I want to upgrade or install pip by saying sudo dash h pip3 install upgrade pip. So we know that we have the newest version of that as well. And then we need to install virtual environment by saying sudo dash h pip3 install virtual env. This is the same as we have locally. And then I want to create a folder for the invoicely root where it's going to be placed on the server mkdir dash p dash web apps invoicely. Oops. Then I can go into it like that. Next, I need to create a group for all for the user for the system by saying sudo group add test dash system web apps. Okay, I already have this group, but you need to create it. Next, I want to create the user by saying user add dash system group id is web apps and want to set the shell to bin slash bash and the home for the user is the folder we just created and then the name of the user which is also invoicely user hit enter and since i'm here i can create the virtual environment by saying virtual env and then the name which is environment 382 hit enter and then we can activate it by saying source environment bin activate as you can see here, it's now activated. Perfect. And then we need to install the same packages here as we have locally. And to get those packages, we have the environment activated here as well. Now we say pip freeze. Now we get the list of packages. Then we just need to copy this list, create a new file here called vireq.txt and paste the content. And then to install this, we say pip install dash r req.txt. And now we will get the same packages here as we have locally. Great. So now I just want to install one more package pip install psycho pg to binary. This is to support PostgreSQL. Great. So now the next step is to get the code from GitHub. So github.com slash which is my name where I have all of this code. Then I find the repository. 
invoice let Django. Let me just copy this. Go back to the command line as I say git clone. Hit enter. And now I have it here. And then I need to do a few changes in this folder. So I go into invoice Django and invoice and I can copy settings to settings prod.py. So we have a separate settings file for production. VI settings prod. And here I want to add uh, invoice dot code with stein.com and API invoice dot code with stein.com. Great. And also down in this list, I need to add the invoice le, no API. HTTP like that. This will be for the for the view front end. Should actually be HTTPS. And then I need to reconfigure the database. So instead of using this engine, I can actually just remove all of these lines. Great. So now I set the engine to PostgreSQL and the user. No, this is the database name. And then the user, the password, and localhost where PostgreSQL is. And then I can just save and quit. And I also want to go up one more folder, make a copy of the manage.py to manage.py. I'll manage project.py. I can change that as well. Because here I want to use the settings prod file. I need to do that because then I can say python manage prod make migrations to initialize the database and there are no changes but still like to run that and then migrate great so now the database should be finished so then the next step is to install g unicorn which will be the web server we're going to use or the web server for django at least and to install that we just say pip install g unicorn and hit enter and then I need to make a script for running the G unicorn server. So I go up one folder and inside the VI environment bin I want to create a new file called G unicorn start and I paste some code. So first we set the name and then the path to the root folder or the Django folder. This will be created automatically. And then we set the user, which is not this, of course. This is sorry, this is from a different tutorial. <laughs> Invoicely user. The group is web apps, and this is the file we created. And then we set the timeout to 120. So what happens here is that you go into the Django directory. Yes, and then you go up one folder and find the bin slash activate and run the environment and then you export this module and similar and then you just execute everything so just save and quit but before I do that you see that I have added the invoice folder inside the environment and I want to do that as well so just save and quit and then I move the invoice folder into environment and call it invoice like that conf.d and here I need to create a new file called vi invoice .conf. first I create a program and I set the path to the geoncorn start script and then I say which user to use and where to log this so I need to create this log file as well I will add all of these files to the git repository if you just want to copy them. MK there. So we create the logs folder and then we can also touch the log file like that. So everything should be ready there. And then before I create the nginx, I would just want to obtain the SSL certificate by saying cert bot. So sudo certbot d invoice .com. Then I got that. And then the same bit API invoice So we have both of the certificates. 
and we have already installed nginx in the beginning so i just need to go to slash etc nginx sites available and then i create a new file here for the django so touch invoice slam dot code oops code with stand.com i need to edit it so first i create the upstream and set it to invoice the app server and then i point to the geonicorn sock file which the which the script we created will create automatically for us and then i want to set up a listener for port 80 so we can redirect it to https and then i set up a 443 for https and the server name but this should be api sorry api invoicely.codewithstein.com and then i set up the access log and error log and i also set in the certificate and the key and some protocols and then i need to set up location for the static files and also the media files because nginx is going to host these files and not gunicorn and then i just set up a location and set the proxy header to point to the to the invoice app server we created up in the beginning here which points to the gunicorn server now we can save and close this and i need to rename this to api invoice lay dot code with stein.com great so now i can go up one folder i'm going to see the sites enabled and then we can activate it by saying ln s which is a symbolic link dotted slash sites available api invoice lay dot code with stein.com and then we can restart nginx service nginx restart okay no errors so hopefully it is working you can find out by going to the site okay i've got a bad gateway it's probably has to do something with the permissions so chmod dash capital r invoicely user web apps should own all of the things in here sorry ch own because you need to change the owner like that now we need to start the supervisor by saying supervisor ctl update can't reread okay sorry i used the wrong name there cd etc supervisor conf vi invoicely this was supposed to be invoice silly user sorry like that i can try to update again okay add it to the group and then re read okay so everything there should be okay now status it is running so we can try to update here again so now we have it running perfect great so now we have the django running the next step is to make sure that the and the view is running so i want to do something locally for that so first go up one folder and into invoice view and then i need to build the the production files for this by saying npm run build they should create a new folder called dist which is a folder i want to send to the server great everything there is okay and i got a new folder here called dist and then i want to send this to this server scp r dist and then root at invoice code with stein.com and i want to call it dist invoice yes Great, so now it should be placed here on the server somewhere. I can deactivate the environment because I don't need it anymore. CD web apps invoice lame. Then I say cp r root dist invoice lame. There. So now we have the folder here. And then I need to go to 
nginx to set up the server for this cd nginx sites available and then vi invoice lay.code with stein.com first set up the port 80 so we can redirect you to the https and then we also need to listen to 443 set up the server name the log files the ssl certificates and where the root is which is web apps invoicely slash dist invoicely we want to use the index file and then the location again so if you now save go back to sites enabled and create a new symbolic link put a slash sites available invoicely and then the name here as well now we can restart nginx again no errors perfect and here i will probably get an error okay i need to do one change in here vi src main.js because we need to change this this should be https api invoice lay.code with stein.com so then i can build this again and then i can send it to the server again and i can go back to web apps invoice lay and then cp just remove copy it again so now we should have it updated here you can restart nginx and then try to go to https colon slash slash invoice lay.com with stand.com oops invoice lay of course and then we have it running here perfect let me try to sign up code with code stein and then a password it didn't seem to work no it still tries to use the wrong address okay i'm not sure what happened here but if i just go into cd test invoice lay just to remove the css the fab icon index and also the js folder and then inside the dist folder here cp-r dist like that so now i have the files there so if i now restart nginx refresh try again here now okay now i got a new error okay sorry it's because inside here i need to add the https this address as well because this is the address we are actually on so save and quit and then i need to restart the supervisor by saying supervisor ctl restart in voicely so not stopped start it again try to sign up again and now we're sent here so i can try to log in and yes so now everything seems to be working perfect and that was it for this video series i hope that this deploy wasn't too hard to follow along i'm sorry if it was too much back and forth yeah if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment below and answer as soon as i can